do you want to, which one, one or two? Two. Two. Jenny. Jenny helped us uh, test the phone phone lines. lines. How's it going, Jenny? Hi. Hi, I'm pretty good. Um, Hey. Yeah. um, You're live with Eric and Jamie. Sorry, go ahead. (laughs) Butterflies. Oh, Oh, no worries. We're just two assholes. Yes, your majesty. (laughs) Uh, uh, It's kind of of starting, starting, I guess, how how I kind of lost my kind of religion and God is kind of... my husband, um, he's the one who kind of, he, he's the one who started being atheist for me and he wouldn't really, he didn't really tell me for a while. And, um, where do I start? Um, but, but now I guess I, I'd call myself, um, atheist. I think the, the big thing that <laughs> 90, 95% really, <laughs> So um, I have I have epilepsy and I have, I got epilepsy um, about uh, twelve years old and um, so um, I am tonic clonic which means if I don't have my medicine I will have a seizure um, but um, I'm I'm really good um, with my medicine now um, me and my husband have two kids um, we wanted to have kids around. Um, five years, but we had to wait until eight years because I needed, I needed to be sure that I wasn't going to have any kind of seizures that I would, you know, fall and hurt the baby or, you know, drop or anything like that. I, when I have seizures, it's just, um, it's just kind of, um, I can't answer you straight away, you know, Mm. but, um, just, just so everybody knows that, so that, you know, what's a, what's a girl with seizures having babies for or anything like that? I was smart about it, you know, I, so. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but some things that really got me were, um, there, when, um, Noah, Noah's Ark, you know, um, uh, there was a guy in Kentucky that he, he wanted to build the Ark, um, and yeah, he, he could, him. like, he wanted I th- I think so. Like, yeah. He wanted to actually like, put real animals in there, and it, like that was impossible because <laughs> that's the Ark Park like, is an actual finished theme park. Mm-hmm. They did it. Yeah, yeah. But I heard that there 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 wasn't able to have uh, real animals because of uh, because of what is it? I'm not sure. And there was, um, what is it? Where are we? I wrote some things down because I can get, I can get, um, okay. In the, in the Hebrews, um, uh, the Hebrews, there was no pottery in, in the Hebrew story. Um, if the scientists, they didn't find any, um, pottery made. Oh, it, you know during I'm, the Exodus? Is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah, yeah, the the when the Hebrews left Egypt and spent forty years in the desert, yeah. there's zero indication that that well, migration happened in the desert. There's no archaeological evidence to support that. Well, what's more is yeah. there are Israeli archaeologists that have studied and looked at this and concluded that no, there were never Israeli or Jewish or Hebrew slaves in Egypt. Damn, in any significant number, yeah. yeah. That was a big deal to me because yeah. then I was yeah. just like, yeah, how 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 can you believe in that story when you know there's no proof yeah. of it? Oh. I'm I'm glad those those kind of uh, those things clicked in and 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 gave you a pause to think about it. Uh, was there anything else that you wanted to share? Um, there was a woman once. Um, this was this was before our two kids. Um, we had a friend who. Um, in a Christian, in a Christian um, uh, band, there there was a guy that we were helping, and um, we were picking stuff up. And there was a woman in a circle of prayer, and I walked past her, and she like grabbed a hold of me, and she said, "What's your what's what's your issues? What's your problems?" And and uh, like, "What's what's what's wrong with you?" And I was like, "Well, I'm an epileptic," and like she was doing all kinds of like swaying and like this weird 
prayer circle and mm-hmm. and like it, it was it was really hard for me like she she said now if you if you believe hard enough and if you pray hard enough like you will be healed of your epilepsy what a bitch you know yeah, that's that, that's so fucking wrong. Telling somebody like th- that that oh you know how many how many people walk up to somebody who's lost their legs and say oh yeah if you pray hard enough God will grow your legs back but if you didn't do it right then obviously you know you're not trying hard enough. Yeah, or I don't I don't I don't look I don't look it's, like somebody it's, who has it's, a disability. Oh, <laughs> you know, oh, like I look like just a normal person. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying you don't. I'm, I'm just saying sure, you know. Sure. It's you know, yeah yeah I I'd say it's they treat it and all of the like oh you you know you have this or that or oh you don't have legs they treat it the same as if a person was saying well my shoelaces are tied together and it makes it hard to walk mm. well if you tr- if you know if you get a knife or you get new shoes or you find a way to untie the knot you'll be able to walk fine and that's the way they treat real problems that actually are affecting like physically your legs or your body or your life because. Everything is a childish problem when your view of the world is childish. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I mean, we live in a world where there are people who actually think they have actual magic powers. Yeah, um, but that they can um, command volcanoes. We're glad that you found the show, and thank you for calling in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and and it was it was letting go of my religion. I would say is like ripping off a big leech off of my arm it's it's <laughs> something that is it's it's really a hard thing to do and it just kind of feels like it's going to be a scar forever my my dad was a pastor when me and my sisters were kids and it always bothered him that i had epilepsy mm. and and it's it's really hard like i it's always been hard and um and it's just, just one of those things that's kind of going to remain forever mm-hmm. of just like pain. And it, it feels like it feels like a lie that people like in, in the Bible. Once you're in heaven, you know you'll have a new a new body, and you'll have a, a new you know you know you have a new body, and you can it's you yeah. know I feel. Yeah. I feel that, you know, I, I'm i not going to, I feel like I was lied to because I, you know, I have to take medicine in the morning and at three o'clock and at nine o'clock and yeah. it's one of those. Yeah, you have to actually have deal with your problems in the real world rather than wishing they go away. Jenny, you know, I actually read stories of um, and have, have talked to people who've said that um, in the Mormon church, that when they said that you get your spirit body. That uh, if you you know were a good person, that you would be white. <laughs> mm-hmm. That uh, that, that was that, another that, affliction. Well, um, yeah, I didn't know that you could. I didn't know that they granted, like. Oh, dude, there are stories of people no, 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 like, no. I know, like, like I know that in the, in that it was all like, ooh, blackness is no, 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 no. But I was like, more. I didn't know that there was a way around that. I yes. thought that you were just always doomed. No, Jamie, there are oh. stories uh, of people who say that you know there were missionaries in the Pacific Islands, mm-hmm. right, where they went and uh, these Mormon churches would sit and gather and they'd pray, and people would say that, oh, as they were praying, I was watching their skin get lighter. Yeah. <laughs> It's fucking gross. But yep. you know what? It's only a matter of time until people realize that, you know, that kind of shit is the exact same. But um, I think I we're going to... I feel like there's a lot of freedom now that I... I since I'm not Christian, I, like, I have I have yeah. a few lesbian friends and I don't feel like an obligation that I need to, like, save their souls or anything. Like, and, you know, I can... It, it's so much freedom now that I can say that I'm a not Christian, which is really... God is love and God yeah. is... God is the way, yeah. and all well, of these things. Welcome home, really, I have so much more. I, huh? I said, welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we're going to move on to the next caller now, though, okay? Yeah. Thanks yeah. for calling. Yeah, and, I'm you know, glad that I got to talk to you guys. We're, we're <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say, them. particularly with your call, join the, the uh, Facebook discussion, and I'm sure you'll get some love outpouring. And actually, isn't there some news about where people should go if yeah, they want to engage in actually, Facebook discussions about yeah, our shows? Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. If you go to Facebook.com. If I, if I 
go to slash Facebook, groups. I might have to create a new Facebook. Well, actually, my family doesn't so, know. <laughs> Jenny, follow me on this, okay? If you go to facebook.com slash groups slash ACA Productions, mm -hmm. it's a private group. So your we, family will we opened know. a private group, and when you join, it doesn't show up on your, your social media, so you don't have to worry about your family seeing or finding out or knowing that you're a member of it. And since we opened that, people from all of our other shows at the ACA have been joining in, and it has been fucking amazing. There have been tons of people who are in that exact same situation. Yeah. Uh, so Dude. definitely <laughs> check it out. It is really cool. And the group name is ACA Productions. Absolutely. You take. No, I hate Christmas. I'll tell you happy, happy Christmas. <laughs> oh, thanks. I, how any excuse you get to celebrate, Jenny, is a good one. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> I that love was Christmas.